have the Aprilia Caponade Rally. Now this machine is the more adventurous of the Caponade family. It comes with crash bars, some pretty strong panniers here, an adjustable screen, pretty superb electronic suspension, plus a skid guard and some pretty comfortable foot pegs there for the off-road. So what you've got here from the Aprilia is a really awesome engine, a 90 degree V-twin produces a lot of bottom end, a lot of grunt, and also produces a great sound. We've got three modes, we've got rain, touring and sport. I played around with all of those. The sport is the most aggressive, of course touring being a little bit softer and capping the horsepower in rain mode, just keep the horsepower low so that you don't get any much wheel spin. You've got a very comfortable seat here, only after hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles did I get any kind of butt ache. Very comfortable seat. Talking about the suspension, it's always actively changing. It's always searching for that perfect damping. The electronic sensors on the front suspension and also on the rear uh, really just read what the suspension is doing and uh, adapt all the time. So it's always adapting as you're riding. And a really good turning motorcycle. You really know where you are with it. It's really planted, gives lots of feedback through the suspension and the wheels. You've got a 19 inch wheel on the front of this bike. That really helps because when you're going off road, you've got obstacles to go over and a small wheel just has more difficulty doing this. Now, as you can see, we've got street tires attached to this bike. So this bike has spent most of its time on the street. However, I did take it trail riding. It handles the trails just fine. It would do better with some more dual sport tires, of course. However, its biggest downside to riding on the off road is its weight. Now, all big adventure bikes are heavy. This bike is no different, over 500 pounds dry weight. Once you get some fuel in there, fill these panniers up, this bike does get heavy. Now, I noticed that weight definitely when I was going low speeds. Once riding, not so bad, but in the canyons and off-road, the bike's harder to throw around. Big monoblock Brembo front brake, as well as a Brembo brake on the rear. Great stopping power. You've got ABS, you can turn that off. Helps for the off-road, but the ABS does work on the street as well. Powerful stopping power though, I like that from the bike. Some nice LED external lights here. They did help, certainly in canyons on an evening, more cars to be able to see you on the road, so I like that little feature. Now the adjustable windscreen, unfortunately you can't uh, adjust that on the fly, you've got to come to a stop. Big upright handlebars, comfy position, this screen just sends the wind right over your head. I sit on the freeway, sit doing some big miles, effortless. Big engine, nice big screen, some nice hand guards there that keep all the cold air off your hands. This bike is definitely designed to put some miles under your belt and be adventurous. Great size gas tank. It takes you places. You've got an electronic dial to keep you in touch with what's going on in the gas tank. You've got a solid reserve. I'm also impressed with the panniers on this bike. Now, panniers sometimes can be a real pain in the butt to take on and off. These, however, are not like that. Twist of a key, press of a button, the panniers off. Please, more motorcycles should make luggage that's easy to take on and off. So overall, from the Aprili Caponade Rally, you're gonna get a bike that's got bags of power, it's agile, you can go on-road and off-road, you can definitely click by some miles, you're gonna really enjoy riding this bike. It's made by Aprilia, they've won 54 world titles, they know how to put a motorcycle together. This bike goes places, it'll take you on an adventure.